Good evening and welcome to Orange News. I'm Jessica Heyman. And I'm Okupa Domsi. Coming up on tonight's news broadcast. Abuja's leaders emerge as the Stepping Ahead Leadership Conference takes place for the first time in Nigeria. Youth workers got the workshop assistance training in preparation for the Leadership Diary Training Program. In our Spotlight segment, Senegal pilots Sub-Saharan Africa's first all-electric bus transit network in Dakar. We'll be back with our top stories after the break. Do stay with us. The Leadership Diary Training Program is 12 years this year. Maxim Milestone, 12 incredible years of the Leadership Diary Training Program. TV taught me about leadership, network, entrepreneurship, and a whole lot of things that I've taken into my life and have been helping me to build in my leadership edge. A decade, we've empowered young leaders like you to make a difference to be the change in their communities and to lead with purpose. As we celebrate our 12th anniversary, we invite all past participants to join us in commemorating this journey of leadership, growth and transformation. 12 years and I wish all past participants of the program a happy 12 years. We have some exciting news. The Stepping Ahead Leadership Conference is officially in Nigeria. The conference was held at the University of Abuja, aiming to empower Africa's youth for a prosperous future. This is in line with the primary goal of the United Youth Arise System, which is the missions to the world. There is more in the following report. Abuja recently hosted the inaugural Stepping Ahead Leadership Conference, SLC, at the Parliamentary Hall, University of Abuja. This event marked a significant milestone as the life-changing program expanded its reach into Nigeria for the first time. Under the theme, Youth for the Prosperity of Africa, established equipped and engaged, the two-day conference was a vibrant exploration of leadership, innovation, and the crucial role of young people in shaping Africa's future. Attendees were not just passive observers, they actively engaged in discussions that tackled some of the continent's most pressing issues. From icebreaker sessions that got everyone talking to deep thought-provoking debates, the atmosphere was electric. Participants didn't just share ideas, they were inspired to take action, stepping into their roles as the next generation of African leaders. My name is Wango Zibina Marachi. I'm a student of the University of Abuja Biology Education Department. And I'm so happy that I come in contact with this program because initially I used to have the fear of the unknown. But after this program, I've trashed out fear, I've trashed out shyness. And I'm, I've, I've redefined myself, and I want to give back to the society through this program. The success of Stepping Ahead Leadership Conference Abuja has set a powerful precedent. The conference proved its potential to become a recurring event, not just in Nigeria, but across different locations with the possibility of going global. This is just the beginning for SALC, and the future looks bright. Bringing you the latest on Africa's future leaders, this is Jana Dudwaji for OTV. Now, youth workers gathered for the workshop assistance training ahead of the leadership diary training program. The workshop aimed to equip participants with essential skills to support youth leadership development. Through interactive sessions and hands-on activities, attendees prepared to guide the next generation of leaders, fostering growth and effective facilitation. In anticipation of the Leadership Diary Training Programme, LDTP, and Stepping Ahead Leadership Conference, SLC, 
Youth Arise Organization Ambassadors registered as workshop assistants and enrollment advisors. They participated in an essential training session yesterday at the Catholic Institute of Business and Technology in Accra, Adabraka. The training equipped them with vital skills to manage event logistics, assist participants, and address challenges effectively. Special emphasis was placed on communication, problem solving, and participant engagement. They were also introduced to new plans and concepts designed to enhance the workshops with additional activities planned to celebrate the 12th anniversary of the event. Key strategies were focused on teamwork, proactive problem solving, and fostering an inclusive environment, ensuring LDTP or SLC 2024 will be a successful and enriching experience for all participants. Reporting for OTV, I am Juana Atuduaji. Now on the international front, Senegal has raised the bar after piloting an all-electric bus rapid transit network in Dakar, the first of its kind in sub-Saharan Africa. The fleet of about 120 electric buses will be solar powered and aimed to ease transport in the congested metropolis. There's more in the following reports. On Monday, Senegal inaugurated Sub-Saharan Africa's first all-electric bus rapid transport system with an estimated cost of nearly 700 million US dollars. The bus rapid transit network consists of 121 buses capable of ferrying 300,000 passengers between 14 of the capital's most densely populated districts in a sustainable way. Senegal's president hailed the project saying it can have a major impact on the car's economy and environment. The bus rapid transport network is part of an overall strategy to manage traffic in Dakar. Problems faced by the world's major cities and the rapid growth of Senegal's population, as well as the number of vehicles on the streets in recent years, has created huge traffic problems in Dakar. The bus rapid transit comes as a great relief to the local population. This initiative shows that African countries are growing especially in the field of transport. The bus rapid transit pilot line project is part of an ambitious overall strategy for a sustainable urban mobility in Dakar. I am Joanna Adudwaji, reporting for OTV. Ghana, the presidential aspirants filled their nomination forms for the presidential slot before the 2024 election in December. In this special report, we analyze the crucial time we are in as a nation and why every young person qualified must exercise their franchise in the coming elections. With a recent filling of nomination forms by presidential candidates, the race for the presidency is officially underway. Each candidate offers distinct visions highlighting the importance of the youth vote. Ghana's young age structure is a key factor with approximately 57% of the population under age of 25. This percentage is expected to rise in the coming years, amplifying the influence of young voters. Their decisions will shape policies on jobs, education and climate change. Young people's collective votes can sway the election outcome, ensuring their concerns are addressed. By voting, they hold leaders accountable and strengthen democracy. The future of Ghana rests in the hands of its youth. Their votes will shape the nation's direction for years to come. Your vote, your voice, your future. I am Joanna Adadwaji, reporting for OTV. Less than three months to the general elections, we here at OTV encourage all qualified voters to exercise their franchise. 
Now we take a break. We'll be right back. Remember when we first discovered our potential, when our voices were first heard, when collaboration felt like magic, when guidance felt like a warm embrace, when others felt like a privilege, when achievements felt like a dream come true, and a community of leaders became a family Join us for the Alumni Connect and let's relive the memories that made us who we are today. Welcome back. Before we wrap up tonight's news broadcast, let's take a recap of the top stories. Abuja's leaders emerge as the Stepping Ahead Leadership Conference takes place for the first time in Nigeria. Youth workers gathered for the workshop assistance training in preparation for the leadership diary training program. In our spotlight segment, Senegal pilots Sub Saharan Africa's first all electric bus transit network in Dakar. And that wraps up our top stories for tonight. Thank you for watching. And remember to join us on Monday at 6 30 a.m. for the Leaders Coffee. See you next Sunday. I'm Jessica Heyman and with me is Uncle Pandomson. Have a fantastic evening.